I think Tal also had a bit, but I think Bala is, ah, yeah, Bala is here, okay. Is Joseph here as well? Yeah, Joseph, uh, yeah, that was also, I was looking for him, I don't oh, think. Just joined. He joined, he just yeah. joined. Okay. All okay. right. So this yeah. is the sleep automation meeting for whatever day it is today, November 1st. Uh, go ahead, Wim. Um, yeah. So the, the, I, the first issue is related to this. I, so we decided to make this common uh, ROM uh, pieces, right? So, so the uh, config CRDs. So, so they defined a generic uh, config.nephew. I suggested to make it specific to the content that we are suggesting. So my suggestion was call it uh, 3gpp.config.nephew, right? .org as a group. Yeah. And uh, so there are some concerns with the fact that we use 3gpp, uh, but I think it's best describing what we want to do. I don't Personally, I don't see an issue with it. Because I don't think 3GP is trademarked or something like that. Uh, it's a trademark, but it, I don't think the name as such uh, matters so much. But because the other alternatives that I was thinking about, unless someone has another proposal, is to use uh, wireless but or wi uh, mobile, but they all conflict with Wi-Fi, in my view. So I think 3GP and I, or the yeah, other alternative is 5G. 5G or 6G or something, you can do XG or something, but it's a bit weird. Yeah. I mean, you can say mobile, but yeah. But mobile is also wireless, right? It's also Wi Fi. And there I is like, so. uh, and, and then you have these uh, low, uh, what is it? Uh, low palm or, or, yeah. So there, there's other wireless technology that has nothing right. to do with, uh, with this that use completely uh -huh. different namings. Cellular is one name, but. I yeah, Laura. Know. Yeah, correct. Yeah, Laura. Yeah. So I guess personally, I think, um, personally, I think three, everybody will understand it if we think it's 3GPP. And if we don't, people won't understand it. But if we think that there's a potential legal issue, we should run it by LFN and let them tell us what we can use. Um, so to me, I mean, two, two issues. So, sorry, Joseph, you raised your hand. Go ahead. Uh, no, it's okay. You can finish. Okay, so to me, I mean, the parameters are inspired by 3GPP, of course, mm -hmm. but uh, if you make the group, uh, I, I mean, this is just, just from as an end user perspective, I was thinking if I look at this group as 3GPP something, I, I have somehow start associating this with some of the uh, specifications of 3GPP itself. Uh, so we may deviate also over a period of time. And, and also all the 3GPP models are versioned. And then we are also not saying which version this belongs to. So, right. so, so it's inspired I think, by not actually so that, like. Yeah, that's that's yeah. where my thing is, are we, if, are we conveying the wrong message by using that word 3GPP? I mean, also it's a RAN model. 3GPP also has a RAN model, obviously has RAN models. So yes, should we yes. say in the comment or somewhere that it's inspired by them and use something very generic like a RAN, FEO, CRD, something, something like that, uh, RAN, RAN group, uh, uh, yeah. sort of using a 3GPP. So that's not just RAN, right? right? So th that's yeah. the thing is that they're not just RAN. Uh, what's yeah. the hand ordering? Who's next? Joseph, I think. Joseph, Joseph, <laughs> Ravi, Tal, I think. Uh, yeah, so I so I I had a concern about using the 3GPP term because uh, one thing I think we, I may not be able to use it. Yeah, so I've raised the CRD for RAN, but uh, as a policy, we cannot use it or I have to take internal approvals further, which might delay. Uh, so that's one thing. And also generally to use the 3GPP term, it might give the wrong impression that we're using the 3GPP Yang models. Uh, it might give an impression to others. So that's one thing, and it might lead to uh, terms of use of the Yang models, which we need to go by at least like what John said by Elephant. Uh, confirm, uh, clear if clear it that clear that we don't have issues. If there is no issues, then it's okay. Then we can use. But I think I don't know how long that would take, and for R two, if we can finish it. So that's one thing, and uh, the alternate is in case. Uh, we decide to use the 3 term, then maybe I can close my PR. Somebody else can do it. It's, that's that's also okay. 
and uh, uh, other alternative is uh, we just use the structures directly in the code we wait for a, a proper understanding of how to use it and maybe in r3 we can start using it. that's these are some options that i thought in yeah that's all from my side So yeah, I think my um, next. So I I think uh, Bala kind of um, I think summarized it well, because if you're talking about 3GPP and we are talking about RAN, then we have to be very clear about what release of 3GPP we are talking about. You know, 5G NR goes from release 15, release 18, probably is going to, to 6G and all now, and uh, and and also you know when because I I just had a very kind of a brief view of you know the all the physical layer parameters, it's it's just a few set of parameters. If you just take the entire kind of what 5G NR offers in terms of beam management and dual connectivity or, you know, carrier aggregate, a lot of features are there. I mean, so I think we're just scoping right now, just in the context of what OA has implemented, uh, unless, you know, those parameters have specific, uh, you're actually inheriting certain data models from TGPP and we could say, this is a specification that we are referring to. This might lead to a lot of confusion. Though at a high level, it's fine. We understand it, but I think it might, uh, down the road, many people who are coming on TGPP might on board might, might lead to say, hey, what features of 5GNR are you talking about here, right? So and that basically would lead to a specific data model that's been defined in TGPP. So do you have an alternative, Ravi? No, I say keep it generic. I think what Joseph was saying ran or no, uh, if it's 5G specific, just keep it 5G. Or if it's yeah, LTE, but... just keep it LTE. If it's UCP, I would say just keep it UCP, DU and CUUP. Those things are fine. But to put TGPP, then it is, uh, it's a very similar thing that, okay, we have such something that you put IETF, then which which RFC of I, IETF are you talking about? Yeah, but the thing is that the the the, the parameters we are specifying are not limited to the RAM, right? So it's like PLMN ID and stuff like that. They are they are used uh, not just for RAM. So it's like MCC, MNC. These are generic terms that they are not even tied to a 3GPP release. Uh, I would say these are all terminologies defined in 3GPP, right? Yes, that's why I was suggesting to use 3 gbp because of the fact that they are all there and they are not specific to Realm or something like that. They are they are across the board. Yes. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I would say you know I would I would suggest it keep it more uh, kind of say OAI dot tgpp or something, but don't call it tgpp dot something. So it is. It is OAI is implemented specifically focusing on no, OAI's OAI. implementation. This isn't for OAI. No, 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 no. It's not. It's it's for any anything uh, basically. Any 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 five G or four G, right? Uh, yes. Anywhere. Any yeah. I mean, these parameters at the end of the day are not even limited to an XG, so they they were there in two G, by the way. So maybe it we just there, call but, it XG dash wireless yeah. or something to differentiate between Wi Fi and this. Yeah, we can do something like that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, Tal, Tal raised his hand as well. He shared some link as well, I think. So that's my big Sure. Point. Yeah, I'll, I'll make two points. And I'm also changing my mind a bit because of this discussion. Um, I pointed out the legal issues I don't think are, are significant. I, if we do want to make yeah. a 3GPP, there's a way to do it. And actually, this is a general thing. We, we might open another issue for this. We do need notice files. Even the Kubernetes with name that we're using is a trademark. Even K8S is trademarked by CNCF. So uh, I, in, in all my projects, I just put a notice and that's the way to handle it <laughs> correctly, right? So there's a notice file and you can click on my example there and see how I do it. It's very trivial. And um, I just read the 3GPP uh, terms of use. I, I put a link there and it's, it's the same. They just ask you to, uh, you're allowed to use other people's trademark, right? Unless you're selling something, right? <laughs> But um, uh, but you need to just note who owns that trademark. That's okay, right? You're, you're allowed to use words <laughs> uh, legally. Um, but I I I thought you know from this discussion it it's clear to me that yeah I, I agree that if we're putting the word three GPP, there's going to set expectations for people that we're following a, a specific spec. Uh, we're not. 
right? We're, we're using terminology and entities from the spec. And this is why I think, again, the modeling work group in SIG1 could be important, where we really think about all our models and entities and where they come from, right? Because everything is opinionated. 3GPP has an opinionated view of what the entities are. Etsy, Mano has its own set of entities. ORAM has its own set of entities. So I think if we're going to start having a name of, uh, you know, oram.nephio.org, et cetera, we're, we're, we're already using, like, we're saying we're going to be using the entities and components from that world, right? From that opinionated world. Um, so I'm not really sure what, what to do here. I think it has to be very related to the content. So if we're using something like PLMN, well, where does that come from, right? What specific, is it specific to 5G? Yeah. It's, no, it's 3GPP, basically. It's a term that was uh, started there, basically. Coined there, yeah. So, um, but but it's not, 3GPP is a, a huge set of standards, right? So this is a specific sub, yeah, sub yeah, yeah. Standard, right? So right. We use a subset of that. Uh, so the, the thing is, we use a subset of them, right? So so that's the, the issue is that I do agree that I, but that's true for anything, right? So we are, that's why for me, I the fact that it's 3GP, I, let's say config-nephew.org should give the context that it's nephew, that it's nephew, and we can basically make a notice into the file to say, okay, we are using a subset of parameters defined in 3GP or something like that, right? Yeah, I you know in the API spec, I I think there's more work to be done here. As uh, John and I noted before, you know th this could be broken down into lots of different kinds. So PLMN can be its own first kind. So yes. let's say we have ran.nephio.org, and under that API there can be lots of different kinds that come from different opinionated parts of the RAN world, right? So there can be things coming from PG. We, we don't have to necessarily say what the source is. We should not. So, so that's the problem. I think Tal is that what you see is that if you define a run specific CR, you need it in the core, right? So that's why. So that's the the thing. If you look to what Sagar did, right? He has indeed PLMN is actually the kind. Okay. And it's, yeah, it okay. will be used so for that. both run and core for anything that is using that term will be able to use it. And my view is to make it, let's say, uh, very specific or uh, independent, so that you can build these building blocks and, and we stitch them together in the way we consume them uh, so, without having one big yeah, uh, specification. By the way, I, I don't especially like the NF config here. <laughs> I think that's that's the element that I would remove, um, but um, everything yes. we do is config, right? <laughs> so, but yeah. I, I, I would like to suggest maybe this on moving forward. So there is a, a modeling work group where we can get input from telcos as well, and not just uh, the people here. I would suggest moving that discussion there. I think for now, I would suggest for us, for this PR, maybe finding uh, something neutral that's not 3GPP. And, um, you know, it, it can evolve in the future when we look at this as a, a group and what to do with all the other standards bodies that we're kind of uh, working with. I, I, the I th only I thing that I, I my, only, my only concern, my only concern, oh, sorry to, to interrupt, is that it will replicate through all the packages, right? So you'll see this appear all over the place. Okay, um, so I'm just warning, if you change it later on, I, I'm just warning, I'm not saying that we yeah. cannot do it. It will have a, a lot of files have to be updated. Uh, that's true, but our, I, I expect our models to continue to evolve, right? Um, sure, sure, sure. So yeah. they're all going to be V1 Alpha one anyway at this point, so they're all going to yeah. Change. But I, the grouping, the grouping doesn't change so much, right? So yeah, I know. Yeah. One one suggestion would be why don't you call it like rand.com and and then if it's technology specific, call it rand.lt or rand.5g and I mean, yeah. but it's not even RAN specific, uh, Ravi, at the moment. So right, all the stuff right. that we are doing is not even specific to RAN. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a it's a you know I understand it's a, uh, it's for the mobile operator. <laughs> it cuts across the core and the RAN. You're talking in that sense. So, but uh, you know, you you identify the entire specification core and the RAN as LT or five G, or five G NR, right? No, that's so, why three GPP defines that, right? So three GPP is basically it's it's the 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 thing that uh, that does that. Here's here's another uh, uh, I'm brainstorming here, but another thought is that we can add the name to the kind, so it can be three GPP PL, PLMN, which might have three GPP specific things, and then there might be another PLMN say for another aspect of it. 
So it might be the same API group, but we can change maybe the kind names according to uh, if some of them are more opinionated in some specific, right? Because for example, let's take PLMN. It's used, you know, it's it's, it's, it's only mobile, it's only right? a 3GPP. So it's it's only a 3GPP term. It's not used in Wi-Fi. It's not used in LoRa. It's not used anywhere. It's very specific to 3GPP. Yeah. Um, so so what? How would actually it look everything in the kind name? Every everything that we are using is specific to 3GPP. By the way, that's why I suggested 3GPP as a name because yeah. the UPF is also only used there, SMF, AMF, uh, and then the next generation is, that's why I, I don't like it to be, for example, XG either, because what you see is that every release, they change the terms. And <laughs> <laughs> sometimes they do, like PLMN hasn't changed, by the way, so that's a good part. <laughs> no, but the they reason have, why they, yeah. they change the name is because they introduce new services and new functionality. So that, that becomes an entirely different set of information data model. So what you sure, sure, sure. But, but yeah. What, so I'm, what I'm trying to, to say is that yeah. yeah but so. what I'm trying to say is that the things that we are using right now, like tracking area and stuff like that, they are, haven't changed. Yeah, so yeah, of course. Yeah, actually, there are a lot of you know, they are just releases, right? I mean, they just built on each other, right? backward compatible in every way. So right. So what we can do is actually go a full blown alignment with three GPP and call it three GPP v six, right, or something like that. So we can actually. <laughs> Try to be very conforming, or you can um, call it three GPP inspired or something like that. Uh, that you can also do, right? Then that's the, for me the most generic. Or call yeah, so it three GPP nephew. Was, yeah, nephew. and then you also didn't like mobile network, right, Wim? You didn't like that one. At that See, mobile for me, I mean, I I try to be prescriptive. I mobile, you will have a conflict with Wi-Fi at some point, right? Yeah. Well, I'll say even generally, I mean, look at the name 3GPP themselves. It's already an outdated name. It's 3G in it, and they're already doing 5G. So, so their own branding also had that same problem, right? Because the organization was created during the 3G times, and it's already... Um... The only other thing that I was just thinking about is they have this thing called NGMA, right? Uh, which is basically the user stories about uh, 3GPP. Mm. That's a network, but I don't know. Is I... it NGMN you're talking about? NGMN, yeah, NGMN. Sorry, yeah, yeah. yeah. NGMN, yeah. Oh, that is that is a consortium of operators. Yeah, they just come up with uh, use case scenarios. Right, right. The whole slicing was from NGMN. Yeah, it's so. different. So but the question is, are they only yeah. focused on three GPP related services? Because maybe we can use those type of. They, they are mostly focused now, on, on, on cellular uh, services, like 3GPP is the only one right now. I triply try to do IMAX, but uh, 3GPP all the way, right? So everything they define is, um, I mean, even the 6G, they have some cloud manifest documents and stuff. So that's all targeted to 3GPP. So you have mm -hmm. IMT, ITU, IMT, and NGMN, so setting requirements for 3GPP. Mm -hmm. So what should we do? How about cellular? <laughs> so it won't conflict with uh, with Wi-Fi. Cellular. Um, yeah, so that's also very The short-term object is, yeah. And, uh, yeah, there are two things, right? One is we need to get this naming. The second thing is obviously Joseph expressed the desire that if it is 3GPP, he cannot check in this PR. It has to be done by someone else. So we also need to- Why is that? Why, why is that? I, I also didn't it. understand that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I have some concerns from my organization in using term 3GPP. Uh, as of now, unless it's very clear from LFN that it can be used, I think that's uh, that's the point that's coming from our, my organization. So, or we'll have to do the uh, full approval process here. That, that's the, it might take time. That's what uh, was my concern. But I think it's okay. I think if somebody else can raise the PR, it, that's also fine. Too. Not a for me. So yeah, I'm I'm changing my mind from before. I think actually not putting three GPP would be better right now, um, because I, I think if we put three GPP in the name, it's starting a, a trend, <laughs> and then we'll have oran.nephew. You know, we're going to have various Etsy. I would not do that. We might have different standards bodies starting to. So then let's, why call, don't we call it XG or something like that? 
Um, I don't like it. No, you don't want to call XG because, you know, <laughs> that will lead to more. I would say if you want to, because within OAI, I see there are two implementations. One is a G node B and one is a E node B, right? You have LTE and 5G flavor. If you want to qualify it, I would say 3GPP dot LTE, 3GPP dot common or 3GPP dot no, 5G no. NR or something. No, no we, we don't know. want to use the 3GPP. No, trying to avoid no, that. no, no. You don't want to use 3GPP, okay. Then, yeah, basically, yeah. we are trying to avoid that name. Then put RAN, put RAN. Until somebody RAN. goes LFN. No, no, RAN is, RAN is, RAN makes, we need to make a generic uh, Ravi, right? So it's not RAN. I'm not it's just mobile or, or yeah, yeah, it should be something like that, yes. Yeah, I, I don't think cellular is so bad. <laughs> it's uh... Yeah, let's use cellular, right? Why not? I mean... And again, you know, we, we, we can change it in the future and we're expecting changes as John pointed out. Um, uh, yeah, some of these things we do are placeholders, right? Uh, so again, I, I think the, the SIG1 work group that will look at this more generally might be able to write some guidelines on how to handle these things. This is one of the challenges, you know, how do we deal with standards and uh, the legal issues and everything. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I just don't want to block the, the current PR. I think it's uh... yeah. But let's use cellular then, right? And then we can continue. And then let's bring it up to the bottle uh, to the bottling stuff. Will you bring it up tall to the bottling? Yes, that could be or... one of our first issues, really, because it's yeah, on the and table right now. Meanwhile, we can also uh, I can also just so so John, if I want to check with the elephant legal, can can we just offload it to Kenny? Can you check it for us? Uh, yeah, I would just run it by Kenny. He'll pull in legal. Okay. So it's no, 3gp.config.nephew.org. Is that what we want to use? No, I think we said cellular. Dot... Oh, yeah. yeah look, it will be cellular.config.nephew.org. Yeah. So that's what we are going to use now. But in general, this has... Do you need config in there? Like, I, I kind of agree that that seems redundant. Right? So why do we need config there? Because we always, so we decided, so we have sometimes, right, what we did so far, okay, uh, right. is that we have, uh, we split it between config and requirements. So sometimes we have CR that are purely requirements to get something done. And we have a distinct set of CR, CRDs for that. We have the req.nafio.org, you're saying? Right. Yes. And um... we... But but I, the problem with config is kind of the same problem we've discussing that so we have so many I mean netconf is also config right um, yeah but we we have today we already have like network code dot config we have we have a few in there that are configuration related so why don't you just stick with the pattern we've established Tal and then you can bring it into the modeling group sure, and say hey sure, let's sure. rationalize all of our groups at the same time sure yes, yeah sir. yeah yeah. And why uh, did so you want look, to use RAN? Because RAN was already used, you said? No, because or... RAN, it's not just RAN. It's so, it's both, so PLMN, is, PLMN is, is core and oh, RAN. Oh, okay. You uh, mean to say some RAN as in RAN and the core. Okay. Okay. So the whole infrastructure. Okay. Got it. Okay. Uh, Vish's hand is up there. Yeah, actually, I know Wim said that he's going to leave the, in 30 minutes. You know, he's got three minutes. So I wanted to bring up one other question related to which we have in the Slack discussion uh, unrelated to this about 3GPP and stuff. Uh, so, uh, Wim, we are not able to run unit tests a couple of us when do the make unit uh, from the Nephew uh, thing. I know you probably thought it should be working and you actually put in this one. So, anything to help? Yeah, the, so, I know you yeah, Isfam set this whole thing up, by the way. So, I didn't uh, do it, but it doesn't work for me either. So, I was oh, hoping okay, that good. we can help. <laughs> so, and so, I, it doesn't work for me either. Yeah. Okay. At the moment, I don't know what changed. But hmm. uh, I'll, I'll ping ST again to see whether he can have a look at it. Uh, yeah. Cool. Thank you. But we have one more talking. important one. We have another important topic to discuss, by the way. Uh, yeah. So as part of the same work, uh, okay, so with the refactoring of the CRDs, so 
So PLMN typically also includes DNN, okay? So at the moment, DNN has been uh, used in R1, but was used as part of NF deployment. So technically, the best thing is to consume DNN via PLMN instead of having it in NF deploy. But this, um, I, and I think we all agree that that's the best uh, solution. But the issue is that it it's a lot of uh, things that has to change to accommodate for it. It's not impossible. The problem is, do we have people to make this happen? I listed in the PR all the things that has to change. Uh, I don't know whether you still have it open, John. Uh, uh, I listed it this morning. Is it the same PR? I thought so, yeah. At the bottom, at the complete end, I put it in this morning, I think. Yeah. Are you yeah. seeing the screen? Yeah, okay. Yes, yeah, that's that's where it is. So so this is all the things that has to happen. Uh, Quickly. To, uh, yes. <laughs> so the question here is, do we try to go for it? My problem is that I'm the next two weeks like uh, completely traveling. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. KubeCon's next week. Uh, yeah, and then I'm still in the US. The week if there's after, anybody so on the call, uh, Somebody pinged me on, on DM saying they're interested in, in uh, contributing. So I'm not going to name names uh, unless they uh, want to volunteer. But, um, you know, that would be a way. This could be a good introduction for, like, yes, you get deep into the models, but you'd have a lot of guidance and you'd get to some different pieces of the functionality. So if anybody's interested in um, jumping into this, um, the idea here is that what, basically right now our model we took a shortcut in R1 modeling. We want to make that less of a shortcut in R2 modeling, and that requires changes to the existing code base. Um, and uh, so changing, shifting the uh, this field from one resource to another and then populating it in the old resource based on the new resource. So, so right? one, one question I wanted to ask before we offer John. So uh, Wim, is it is it different? Is it an additional work? Uh, sorry, I had to just step away for three minutes because of the heater issue Yeah, uh, that's being fixed. So uh, is this an addition to the abstraction that we are creating? Wim, or is it yes, a Yeah. So this is, uh, this is addition. Yeah, so I, I need to drop actually guys, but yeah, so this is additional work and I it doesn't, so they have to do them all together. That doesn't make sense to do only one. You have to do them all. Right, and this is additional work. So, considering the dates, I'm I'm kind of and and the list and the fact that the uh, rockstar is going to be away for the next two weeks. That's what Wim said. So I'm I'm kind of skeptical to bring this into the release, John. That's that's right. That's, that's because that's, because, that's, because yeah. after the next two weeks, the U.S. the Thanksgiving weekend is coming. I think we are going to lose yeah. that. Week. So then we should we should put this in the. Uh, um, just create an issue and schedule it for R3 and say this is tech that we have to. Um, yeah, so so before that, Wim, would you be okay with that assessment? Yes, uh, but we need to do a hack probably then for R2, right? Uh, which is fine. Uh, so we, we have to do a hack a little bit, but okay, it's better that, because otherwise I agree that it's very challenging. <laughs> I think yeah. given the time window, yeah, uh, I do agree that it's, but I, I think we had to raise it, right? So we can do both ways, but I was yeah assuming that this was going to be the decision. So we have to do a little bit of a hack and then, uh, yeah, I'll talk to Sagar how to do it with a hack and then we keep it as is. Yeah. Okay. Is it not banned the word hack? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I need to drop now. <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks. Man. Okay, thanks, man. See you later. Yes. Yes. Okay, so that that I think Vish, you already brought up your issue, so I think that actually exhausts the official agenda. I guess what I'd like to do is, uh, if people still have time, at least have a quick call uh, discussion, at least of whether there are other blockers. Um, Bala, it looked like I saw a Slack message about some issues. Yeah. I, 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 I have not, I have not. 
I'll yes, I've, I've been sending messages. Uh, general general comment is, I think there are some PRs that requires rebase. Uh, uh, I think some of them were approved, some of them were uh, requires rebase. Please take a look at your PRs uh, if, the, if the rebase is needed. I, I happened to put some of the comments last night. Uh, uh, yeah, I did have a problem. Like there was one where normally you can click on something in GitHub and it'll rebase it for you, but because of the DCO, Maybe and I, since I'm not the PR author, it wouldn't. It was not working, and so I think it has to be manually rebased. Yeah, I think that is that. Even I was trying to resolve the conversation which I asked, uh, and Saga replied, "I wanted to set it as resolved, and GitHub was not liking it. I don't know why. <laughs> it was my Weird. question. Only the PR author can resolve the conversation. I'm not sure whether they changed it. That shouldn't be the case. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Usually, so, you want it to be the person who asks if it resolves it. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So there are quite a few PRs. <clears throat> some of them were approved. Some of them requires a rebase. Uh, some of them, I think the big PR, uh, I think uh, we discussed today, that is a, that is going to be, uh, that would unblock uh, quite a few of work, I, I, I would assume. And John, the other other update I wanted to give you, you know, before uh, we can go over the board or whatever, uh, but we we unblocked uh, Rado. Uh, he was blocked on a few items. We on the release meetings we unblocked him, and he's good to go. I think some uh, most of uh, the items that we are uh, that were targeted for the release in terms of either uh, the process implements or the experimental repo will be coming through this week or next week. Okay, excellent. Um... Is there value in going through the board? Do, or, or, or I don't want to take people's time if well, there's not. Um, well, maybe, uh, yeah. let's see here. Uh, maybe if you take Fish's comment or Fish's point, point about the unit tests and then just uh, have. Well, I thought he raised, have that with, he raised that with so, Wim and, and uh, Wim said, we need to talk to me or we need to just okay. figure it out. That was my understanding. Oh, sorry. Okay. Now, just on, on that, is uh, some of us have been working on. Uh, uh, on just unit testing and mocking and stuff, and we maybe maybe something we we'll take tomorrow, John. Uh, is uh, some of us who are less experienced than other than Go, for example, which just like to, to see if we're going the right way, you know? Uh, okay, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, I think fish fish. You were suggesting mockery. I I did a bit of I I just brought up one small PR there with a just doing a kind of manual mock, and uh. It's just also the structure of some of the code seems to be a little bit awkward to do mocks for, uh, you know, for unit tests. So uh, it'd be just good to get kind of a, a level on that. Maybe we could take 10 or 15 minutes to talk about that tomorrow. Okay, yeah, we can definitely talk about that. I mean, I think there's different philosophies in the Go world around that. And <laughs> Yeah, um, but there is every, not just yeah. in Go, uh, you know. Uh, it's like, a, you know, VI image to war. So I... <laughs> yeah, I mean... Uh, you have to get coverage, but I mean, mocking, you know, yeah, I always took unit testing with a pinch of salt, but at the same time, you know, if you still, you, at the same time, if you see kind of, you, you know, it has some value, let's put it like that. Yeah, yeah, so I, I mean, think... the unit tests are good. We'll, we can talk about it tomorrow, right? I, I did want to raise a couple other things. One is... Uh, we, uh, we one have... more, one more, one more thing, John. When uh, Liam spoke about, I realized also one other type of PRs. Uh, the, those PRs are, had LGTM, but they had commits came after LGTM, so the LGTM has been invalidated. So uh, Liam, I think your PR is one of them as well. I don't know whether it's got much today. Last night was the status like that. So if any of your PRs fall into that category, please uh, take a look uh, and just uh, ping uh, ping in the Slack that we can do one more LGTM on that. Thank okay, you. yeah, no, that, was just, that, was, that, that was that was the one, that was just a documentation one on the minimum yes. install. Yeah, I think that one should be, I think most of the, uh, all the comments are cleared now, so. Yeah, yeah, but but the thing is, it had an LGTM. Then was there was a commit after LGTM, so it requires an LGTM, one more LGTM. Now. That's that's the point I was trying to go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, please go ahead, John. Uh, yeah, just some administrative things. Um, one is KubeCon is next week. Some of us are going to be there. Um, put a um, um, I put I'll put it here. Uh, I put a link a page on the wiki um, where you can put um, you can put your information and there is a, a room that Google has that I could book potentially if we want to get half an hour an hour together or we can just find a space and, and chat um, but uh, yeah 
So, um, and then uh, the elections. So there's elections for the SIG leadership. Let me find that on the wiki here. Um, and so far, uh, I think that we have to put anybody who is interested in that needs to put themselves up. I think. Yeah, we, we have two more days. Uh, it was extended by the TSP. Um, um, so I have decided not to do the chair role again this this year. So um, just FYI. But you're um, going to stay, right? You're not going to be gone from the project. I, I, I do not have any plans to go anywhere. I, I'd like to participate in what I'd really like to do, and we can discuss this sort of after the election so that it's it's sort of done through right correct processes. But what I'd like to do is, is see us, you know, in, in our one time frame, we had a um, subgroups within the SIG and um, we had a package management subgroup and a package specialization one. Like I'd like to maybe see us have some sort of platform layer subgroup that I could lead that would be focused on things like um, the package revision, package variant, package variant set, um, some of that infrastructure pieces um, rather than on um, everything. So um, especially as now we move more and more into modeling the 3GPP and the telco type of things that I'm, I'm, I'm happy to provide guidance from the point of view of Kubernetes API development, but I don't have the um, the background really to get into the details of those things. So that's the that's my thinking right now. Uh, so I'll, I'll let it know too that I, I haven't put my name in yet, but I will be submitting myself as a for the role. Um, so we have currently Wim on the list, and uh, I'll add myself add soon myself. today. Okay, now uh, I was going to add that. Now, since you're going to be there, I'm going to not add my name. <laughs> yeah, I mean, of course, it's elections. Everybody is free to to throw their hat in the ring. But, oh, uh, man, you're too popular. I can't stand them. against you. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, okay. Yeah, I, 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 John's point is important. I think um, the way I see... So R1 and R2, things things have evolved quite a bit in the community. Um, we've really expanded. R1 was so focused on, you know, let's deliver something that works, right? Things have really expanded now. SIG1 is talking about, you know, we have how many five work groups there? We have task forces here. Uh, I think the role of the chair too is changing as well to accommodate that. We have many more meetings per week for task forces. I think the idea of the tech leads for each task force is becoming much more important. So the work of the chair is being more delegated, I think, to these. So the chair, the chairs end up being, uh, you know, coordinators, I think, of all this effort and making sure that they're unified in a certain vision, et cetera. So uh, to, to John's point, you know, I think um, we, we don't have, so the TSC charger, charter <laughs> lets us create our own sub projects, right? That's how they call it. Um, and we have complete freedom to decide how that works, right? So we can give tech leads uh, a certain um, official <laughs> recognition, right? You are the lead of this task force and these are your responsibilities. We can define them ourselves. Um, so, so Vish, others who, who really want to step up to more leadership roles too and don't necessarily want to be chair, I think there's a lot more opportunities to do that now than we had in the past. Right. Uh, for example, Bala was uh, our project manager. Right. We kind of gave him the authority to do that. Um, we can do similar things for, with other tech lead roles. Right. So, something to discuss. Right. Okay. Uh, then, rather than going through the board, which I think is not always productive. Um, uh, I, I just ask one last call for anybody to raise any blockers that they have 
Um, and uh, if there are none of those, then we will get 15 minutes back. Yeah, I think this model is better of actually asking for blockers rather than. Yeah, yeah. Jo Joseph. Yeah, I just wanted to ask, uh, is there any timeline planned for R2? Or is there a date? Yeah. So we want it basically by the end of the year, which means more or less by December 15th, we need it out the door. And th that means we need to take it to the TSC for approval in mid-December. And then once the TSC approves it, there's still kind of like they put together their press releases, the LF and all that. So it won't actually go out as an announcement until January. That's the timeline we're looking at, but that means we should have at least, really we should have everything buttoned up by December, by mid-December, that, that would be the goal. Okay, okay, yeah, thank you. But backing it up, Bala, how far do you want to back that up for like a code? Be like mid November, what, what's uh, that would be up to you, I think. Yeah, I mean, uh, ideally, end of November, uh, we'll see. Ho hopefully, yeah, that uh, we are. Okay. I think we are in a position to do that if it is in November. I think with that, this CRD is merged and the changes are also coming from free 5 GC changes and thing. Uh, I think uh, probably it's doable to do it by end of November. Okay, cool. Okay. That help, Joseph? Yeah, 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 thanks. Okay. Yeah, we have one month, right. just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yep. All right, thank you, everybody. Have a great day, and we'll talk tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.